Hey yo, yo, yo like Master Moto Madness. If I could do one thing in this world, it would be to at least inspire one person. Because it's not about how bad you want something. How bad you want something is meaningless, it's pointless. If how bad you're willing to work for the thing you want. Is it ten times as intense as how bad you want it? I can't sell you desire. I can't bottle up passion and give it to you in the form of some magic potion. The only thing that can quench hunger is more hunger. And every trial, every tribulation, everything you go through is necessary in life. Because it's the lessons that you get from those things that most people can't and will not endure. Embrace it. I urge you all to embrace it. Because it's the one thing that will allow you to become king. It ain't gonna hurt you to like the video. Subscribe too. So what we got here is cut the factory muffler off. Three inch in, two and a quarter out. The guy I bought it from. It's had a little 45 on there. I put in the clip here. We're a straight pipe out right there. I'm gonna put all this stuff I just got from Advance. I spent about 130 bucks, 18 inch extender, got a Flowmaster 40. I'm gonna hook this up and see what she sounds like. All right, so I got the 18 extension on. I sprayed it with high temp black. Got the Flowmaster just sitting on here. There's a mounting point here from the factory exhaust. And I'm going to cut off and weld onto this Flowmaster. But I'm waiting for some supplies for my welder before I do it. And right now I am working on putting this C clamp on. Or U bolt, whatever you call it. But before you put any of these exhaust parts together, I advise. You use anti-seize on all the bolts so you can get them off later. And I'm going to head and finish tightening this up and I'll show you the 45 I have made for it. And then we'll start her up. So this is my 45 I have just pointing straight down. Um, I'm going to do, probably add a different exhaust system later. This is just a normal 45 I bought from Napa. As you can see, I cut this off so it doesn't look hideous. So it's pointing down. I put in the vise a little bit too tight, but hey, what can you do? And I'll probably take some bailing wire and just hold this up with some bailing wire for now until I get the parts for the welder to weld on. The rubber the rubber mount so here it's gonna slip this in here it's, uh, it's a little loose but that clamp will tighten it up and as you can see that's it now I put the seat clamp on it has this little gap here but again I'm waiting for parts for my welder I'm gonna weld this all together one solid piece 
Here's what she looks like. That's it. You know? The old boy getting it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check back in a little bit for part three. Hopefully, you'll see some color by then. And, check it out.